My name is Maggie Hammerly. Um, I am doing an international MBA at IATA Business School in Barcelona, Spain. Before the MBA, I was working in a PBM or pharmacy benefit manager um, called Prime Therapeutics in the United States, uh, specifically in Minnesota. I worked for five years with them in the marketing and operations department, uh, mostly working with B2B clients. For me, continuous learning is a very important part of life and just kind of growing. Um, I also wanted to switch industries while I enjoyed working kind of in the health insurance sector. I wanted to work in a more international organization, which um, health insurance in the United States, at least for the um, time being, will not ever be international. So it seemed kind of like the right time, right place. Um, and that was why I, I just knew that it was the right decision for me. I had a friend who had gone to IATA um, two years prior to um, my start of the program, but I had just kind of asked her about her experience there. More so I was looking at Europe kind of broadly, but um, Spain was still, you know, one of my options. And then after hearing about her experience at IATA and how much she loved it, despite the fact that um, she was there during um, 2019 and 2020, so the start of um, the COVID-19 pandemic, despite all of that, she just couldn't say anything but good things about the program and how amazing the school is. And she had talked a lot about the kind of leadership development portion of the program. And that was something that really kind of piqued my interest. Um, and that was ultimately what made me decide to go to IATA. Um, for one, the biggest lesson would be that you can't be good at everything. Um, you can learn in everything. You can learn how to do some things, um, but you can't be the best at everything. So during the program, I definitely realized, you know, where my strengths lied and where my weaknesses lied um, and was able to kind of convert that into where I'm looking to um, push my career. Um, the other one was more so that kind of the sooner you open up to um, people in general, um, the sooner others will open up with you. Um, that has just been something that we kind of saw within, again, our leadership development program, um, that um, our class was able to get really close during that. Um, and it was very meaningful for us to all kind of open up and um, be kind of honest and real with who we were with each other. And then the final thing that I learned was that numbers aren't scary. Uh, my entire life, I felt like I was, you know, scared of numbers, scared of math. Um, but upon doing the program, I kind of realized that if you have the right professors um, teaching you um, or even just the right people, that numbers don't have to be scary, um, that you really are able to learn anything. Again, you might not be the best at it, but you are. I was able to, you know, hone in on my more math skills and um, get better in that area. IATA focuses a lot on soft skills. It's a major part of the program. Again, I've talked a couple of times about the leadership development program. So they actually have a second campus that we go to um, to work on these soft skills. Um, so what we do there is it's a lot of kind of teamwork collaboration but then a lot of work on yourself so um we're doing things like rope courses up in the trees and those sort of things um where you, you know you're having to push yourself to jump off a very high point obviously with the harness on it's all safe um but just to kind of push yourself and know that you can do things and kind of develop your specific leadership style because not everyone has the same leadership style, nor should they, um, and kind of figure out where, again, your weaknesses are and where your strengths are. And to me, soft skills are more so, um, you know, those things like um, determination, integrity, um, 
different styles of leadership, whereas hard skills are going to be something more like Excel, um, Jira, working in more of those technical spaces, or it doesn't have to be technical spaces, but more so um, kind of the softwares and systems and programs that you know how to do can be something like um, SEO marketing, um, Facebook uh, marketing, those sort of things, um, ads and whatnot. So um, being able to develop both my hard skills within the um, regular courses of the program, as well as the soft skills is what really, I think, developed me as a leader and um, makes me feel more prepared um, wherever my career may go. I think just going back to what I said before is if you can find the right person um, to teach you something, it makes the world of a difference. I personally had, um, you know, other students who were better at things than I was, and I would kind of lean on them, um, you know, when I wasn't understanding something or, you know, if we had an exam coming up, I would make sure to kind of do a little tutoring session with them. And again, everyone is very open to helping others in areas that they might not be um, the best at because we all want to succeed together. And that kind of goes into my second point um, was just the relationships that you make in an MBA. If you really throw yourself into the program, into um, that community um, with your whole heart, um, those relationships can last you a lifetime. Um, you just really have to put yourself out there and be willing to um, make those connections and, you know, again, make those relationships. Honestly, the MBA has changed everything. Um, I definitely came in thinking that I was one way and um, had, you know, one thought path and um, even just who I was and how I acted and how I thought people saw me. And that definitely completely changed, um, which again is kind of an, I owe it to IATA that um, they really give a lot of focus on getting feedback from those around you um, and learning from that because without that honest feedback, um, I wouldn't have been able to change or even know necessarily how people saw me um, because when you're constantly surrounding yourself by, you know, maybe friends and family, they might not be giving you the most direct feedback as someone who has worked on a project with you, let's say. Um, so everything has changed and I'm very thankful for it because I like the me that I am today more than the one that I was and not to say that that wasn't a good person either but um I just I think that this person is stronger and more willing and more open um to everything my advice would be if you're already thinking about doing an MBA you're pretty much halfway there um you just have to decide to do it no one else can tell you that it's the right time or place and really I don't know if it's there ever is a right time or place for anyone. Um, but if you're thinking of doing it, just do it because it really is just a life-changing experience. Um, but again, you have to be open to letting it change you and give you all of those benefits. Um, the other piece of advice I would say is if you're looking at a school, mess, you know, ask the director of the program or so, you know, whoever, go on LinkedIn and find someone who was in the program previously and speak to one of those graduates um, or alum and kind of find out about their experience, find out why they did it, what they liked about the program, what they didn't like about the program, because that honestly was how a lot of um, the other students and myself included in my um, class decided to choose IATA, decided to do an MBA because um, hearing those stories and, you know, what you can get out of an MBA um, and your specific program um, is really what will help kind of push you over and um, help you decide on the right, the right school, right step for you.